Okay, so this is just a short video to show you how to use SmartCut in your DTF Pro Rip software. Uh, you want to start off with an image that's larger than what you want to actually be able to print. Like say you have 11 inch paper, you want to have a larger image than that. So that's what you're going to split. You cannot make the image larger with this software. You start out with the size that you actually want. If you want like a 4XL size, you know, 14, 15, 16 inches, you would start with that size image. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to start with this one. First thing you do is highlight the image to make sure you have a blue bar around it. And you go to Jobs in the top menu and come over to Split Image using Smart Cut. So the image will load. We're going to come over here to Split. And we're going to hit the gear and we're going to set the paper size. I'm going to set this to Tabloid. So the first page and we also have to set the size of the second one. Also Tabloid. And that created two boxes, a blue and a pink. Where these two overlap, that's where your split is going to be. And the software will intelligently look at the image and follow the lines based on the information you're going to give it right now. So some of that information it needs to know, this is a graphics image, not a photo. We're going to click Smart Print. And then it's going to go to, it's going to, go on to Dark Garment. And then this just will split and take a few seconds and uh, it'll work through and intelligently split the image into two images that can be put back together pretty accurately. Okay, so now you can see the software has split the image. It's created enough visual lines in here so that when you put it back together, there won't be one solid line for you to follow that'll draw your eye to it. And if you place them back together correctly on the shirt, you'll never know this was ever split. Okay, so we like how this came out. We're going to hit save. And then yes. And it's going to re-import the image back into ProRip. It's going to remove the original image. And only the two split images will be there. There it goes. And there it is, there's your two images. You scroll down to see them both, you can highlight them and print them out. Uh, one note here, uh, once you have split your image, you do not want to do any type of sizing or manipulation if you don't want to, um, because that may change how the images fit together and then you will see that they were split and it won't look right. Uh, if you wanted to say knock the black out, which I would certainly want to do with this image, uh, you would do that first bring it into Smart Cut, split it, and bring it back. Um, and that way you'd be all set. I just left the black in there so it'd be more visual for this video. And that's it. It's all set to, you're all set to go.